Manuel and I have the same idea in our heads without know each other. We are going to fly almost 200 pigs from Spain to the U.S. The main problem was that there was no protocol uh, for, to import live pigs from Europe. Nobody in the modern age had been able to bring Iberic pigs to the United States. There's certain products that there's music behind them. The experience of sharing them, the experience of eating them. We are, we are talking about Ajibo. It's probably one of the best things you can get to try in your life. We have brought uh, really uh, generations of knowledge in how to produce this special food product. In the last uh, six, seven, eight months of, of their life is where they have uh, the opportunity or the chance of eating the, the acorns. You know, we've had hog farmers, but we haven't had something like this. It's just different. First pigs to be introduced into the Western Hemisphere were brought over by Columbus on his second trip. That kind of pioneer uh, feelings that what uh, I, I, I have, and I suppose that Christopher Columbus also had at that time. The moment for me, uh, unforgettable moment, when we uh, were in, in, the, in the cargo area of, of GFK, waiting for the pigs, and we saw arriving those two big tracks, American big tracks. Well, my feeling at this uh, actual time of this uh, challenge of um, process is uh, to be close to the dream came true. If you like what you do, if you believe in your project, you will make it happen. When we arrive here to the farm, I find some piglets. The mother was missed and the piglets were around, cold and afraid. And just uh, have the instinct to, to save those pigs, put it on a, a safe place without these weather conditions. Now we have this beautiful story of these two Spanish entrepreneurs that have decided to build the capacities within America to produce one of these exquisite products, which is Iberian ham. Here they are. 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 Here they are.